On the southern coast of the Gulf of Aden sits Somaliland's Berbera port. It occupies a strategic position in the Horn of Africa and lies on a busy shipping route for traffic to and from the Middle East and Eastern Africa. Berbera is important to Somaliland, to the Horn of Africa, and to most of the Central African countries. It is the gateway that connects many African countries to the world, to the east, all the way to Asia, subcontinent of India, and most Asian countries, all the way to China. On the other side, through the Swiss Canal and the Red Sea, it connects many African countries to the Middle East and to Europe and to all the way north of America. DP World is working to expand and modernize the port to transform it into a major shipping hub. Over the last two years, Barbara's capacity has grown by 50 percent. These mobile harbor cranes are the latest addition to the port. DP World has also invested in personnel training and safety to improve productivity. Our vision is to make Barbara a regional marine hub, a gateway for Ethiopia, and uh, opening a new market for the Somaliland people. Berbera is the primary gateway for Somaliland. And Berbera is also uh, most viable. The first phase of the $400 million expansion project aims to create a bath for bigger vessels and a vast container terminal. The second phase will move the port's container capacity to 1 million TEU. In terms of the value, before DB World came, we was handling uh, something like 4,000 to 5,000 a month containers in TEU. But now, during this period, the bid goes as high as possible, so we increase more than 50 percent or even 60 percent. Now, each month we handle something like 12,000 to 15. Last month, we did new record, 13,000 and more. A network of roads is said to be built to connect the port with its hinterland, which also includes Ethiopia, a landlocked country of over 100 million people that is fast industrializing. So this is Wajale town. It sits on the road that leads to Somaliland's border with Ethiopia, Ethiopia is one of Somaliland's main trading partners. It handles lots of cargo traffic. But as you can see, it's narrow and portholed. Under the Berbera Corridor project, it's set to get a major facelift. And the business community here in Wajale is very excited. Shams Aden Awale imports textiles from the Middle East and China. We've been facing delays at the port. Cargo comes and you have to wait to get it because the port is small and lacks modern equipment. We have learned that with the expansion, the delays will be completely eliminated. Since declaring independence, Somaliland, a small state of about 3 million people whose main export is livestock, has struggled to attract investment needed to unlock its massive potential. Authorities say the port project offers a good start. I think the future is bright, and the investment in the port is a catalyst to many things happening in Somaliland, which will definitely create jobs and give hope to a lot of young people. Our population is very young, you know, up to 70 percent is under 30 years old. And we believe the combination of the port and Berbera Corridor, the road from Berbera to Ethiopia, and the free zone in Berbera, plus the international airport in Berbera, the combination of these infrastructure uh, will create a capacity to meet the logistical needs of the region. The Berbera port project adds the much needed impetus, not just to Somaliland's economy, but also its politics as it continues to press for international recognition.